Hey Bandit, wake up, man. Hey, you look, you've been sleeping all day. Do you need a little pick-me-up? I think I have something in, uh, just in store for you. Hey! Hey guys, hey, see, they're, way, they're back. Hey guys, welcome on back. Welcome back to uh, Barkeep Choice. Again, my name is Dion. I'll be your bartender this evening. My sleepy friend over here, this is Bandito. He uh, went through a uh, Marvel movie binge last night, starting at like 10 p.m. and watched all of them. So he's been kind of dragging all day. So I felt like today we should probably make something to pick him up. Today we're going to be making an espresso martini. Today's video and cocktail are brought to you by Brass Tax, a cocktail bar located in downtown Denver, Colorado. Now Brass Tax does some really awesome and fun things with their long cocktail list, and they even have their own cocktail book. One thing that's also awesome that they do is they do take home uh, cocktail kits. So you can buy like the syrups and juices and spirits from them and make your own drinks at home, which is super awesome. Now Brass Tax is a very beautiful space that you can go enjoy some delicious libations and del amazing food with your friends. Please, I highly recommend going to go check them out. The Espresso Martini is actually a pretty modern cocktail. It really only goes back to 1983, made by a famous London bartender by the name of Dick Bradsell. One day while he was working, a supermodel came in and asked him for a cocktail with coffee in it. Or in her words, she wanted something that was going to wake her up and fuck her up. I like her style. Mr. Bradsell decided to make a cocktail with vodka, a coffee liqueur, as well as some sugar and uh, drawn espresso. And he called it the Vodka Espresso. Now in the 90s, uh, the fruity martinis were kind of like the whole rage around that time, such as like, you know, the Apple Teeny. So the name kind of changed uh, from the Vodka Espresso to the Espresso Martini that we have today. There are two main spirits that go into an Espresso Martini, and the first we're gonna be talking about is vodka. The vodka we're going to be using today is Snow Leopard Vodka. This is a Polish vodka made by entrepreneur Steven Sparrow. He is really passionate about snow leopards and wanted to make a product that mimicked their beauty and majesty. And this stuff is pretty great. Uh, again, with vodka, we're more searching for like texture and like the mouthfeel. So like Snow Leopard here, this stuff is like very clean and super creamy. And it's just a del has a good texture to it, and it's going to be great for the cocktail that we're using. The second spirit we're going to be using is this dark roasted uh, coffee liqueur called Moonlight Espresso. This stuff comes from Marble Distilling out in uh, Carbondale, Colorado, and those guys are really nice and super rad. They make like a bourbon and a couple different like other liqueurs, which are really tasty and fun. This stuff goes great in coffee and adds a lot of flavor in our espresso martini that we're going to be using because, you know, we want it to be full of that coffee flavor. This stuff is made from dark roasted Guatemalan beans as well as Ugandan vanilla beans just to add a little bit of sweetness, which is super awesome. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's get started building this uh, cocktail. So first thing we're going to be adding is just three quarters of an ounce of good old H2O water. Then I made a, uh, a syrup from Demerara sugar and we're going to only be using a quarter ounce of that. We want to add three quarters of an ounce of our Moonlight Espresso coffee liqueur. And then an ounce and a half of our Snow Leopard Vodka. And finally, a bar spoon of some coffee granules. Pretty hefty bar spoon. Throw that in there. All right. Now, usually with cocktails, I've been telling you we only shake it with citrus because you want to blend in all those flavors. Kind of the same thing with uh, this cocktail. We want to blend everything in. So we're going to be shaking the hell out of it. So let's go ahead and add our ice. And let's get shaken. Let's shake it up fucking fine and shake it up real good. Let's do it.
And then for our garnish, we just want to grab a single mint leaf. And so to express the oils like we've done before, we're just going to go ahead and give it a good slap. And then place that on the very top of the drink. And voila, we just made an espresso martini. All right, let's give this a, uh, a taste. That just looks beautiful. Like, I love the froth on it because, I mean, there's no egg white in it, but it has that, like, nice, thick foam on there. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and give it a taste. Mmm. Ooh, man. That is fantastic. It's just super rich, creamy. It's got that good coffee flavor to it. And, man, this is just a, a great pick-me-up. Uh, also, I think this would be, just be great for like a dessert cocktail, like after finishing a large meal. Uh, just something to like, you know, ease the stomach and still get you that fun buzz. Um, but you know who needs this more than me right now? Bandito. Because he is super tired. Look at him. But man, just like that supermodel said, this will wake you up and fuck you up. Friends, if you don't have the tools, ingredients, or hell, if you just kind of feeling lazy and you don't want to make this cocktail, but you still want to enjoy it and some other really well-balanced cocktails, go to Brass Tax's website and enter in the code BARKEEPSCHOICE and you get 15% off of two cocktails, which I think is a hell of a way to start your weekend. Don't you think, bud? Right? It's totally awesome. So please go down and support Brass Tax and get an espresso martini or two. Again, while dining is open, and we can go out to eat and drink. One thing I do gotta say is please be courteous to the staff. Please uh, don't be rude to them. Please tip them pretty well. And please, just for the love of Pete, wear your masks. All you gotta do is just put it on when you walk in, you sit down, you take it off, and guess what you can do? Mmm. It's so good. And that's it. And just please be courteous. Uh, times are times, and we gotta all take care of each other, so please, Take care of the people in the service industry. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please, there's that little button, it says subscribe. If you click that, and also if you turn your notifications on, every time I come out with a new video, I'll be popped up right there. And you don't want to miss this face or this dog's face, right? Nah, he's asleep. Uh, Alright friends, well, stay safe, stay clean, farewell, cheers.